The name N stands for Namyang, home to Hyundai Motor Company's global R&D headquarters in Korea since 1995. But N also stands for the Nürburgring, home to a European test center where the N models were further developed and tested. The close connection between Namyang and the Nürburgring created the foundation for N, the goal being to deliver driving enjoyment. Both locations play a crucial role in developing, testing, and perfecting the responsive handling and vigorous acceleration of our end models. The N logo also resembles the chicane of a racetrack, the tight N curve where the skills of the driver and the balance of the car are rigorously proven. This reflects that our end models are agile vehicles that are fun to drive and represent the ultimate driving experiences anywhere, including racetracks. When is an engineer finished? The answer is never, <laughs> because you can always make it better, always. My name is Tyrone Johnson. I'm the director for vehicle development here at HMCC, Hyundai Motor Europe Technical Center, responsible for all the Hyundai brand development here in Europe to customize the cars, adapt them for the European market. So here at HMCC, we have a dedicated N group that works only on N vehicles, future N products, and they begin with lots of virtual development, simulation work, to then help the designers that uh, are also in the end group that design the parts that have to go into prototypes. And then once the prototypes are available, we have uh, suspension experts, we have tuning experts, we have tire and wheel people, we have control systems, ESC systems, traction control, launch control systems, brakes uh, systems. That all is contained within the end group itself. But at the rest of HMHC, we also have contributions from uh, NVH, also from brakes in other areas, some suspension contribution, and we can't forget the central uh, part of every car, the engine and the transmission, which is also uh, calibrated and developed here at HMHC. And then the first thing that customers always see is the car itself, and of course design, and design is also here at HMHC. So at Hyundai, we have a very robust development process throughout the years it takes to develop a new car, a new uh, platform, and N models follow that process also. What's unique about N is that we take the specific performance systems, the systems that are really geared to meeting their characteristics that we want to achieve in N, and we dive into these systems very, very deep and develop them just that little bit more to really maximize them, and a crucial part of that is the work that we do with the Nürburgring on the Nordschleife that really challenges the car and brings out all the errors that a car might have so that we can fix them uh, to get them really to the maximum level. We have to remember that Hyundai N was born out of participation in WRC, the World Rally Championship. And there's always a two-way relationship between motorsports and production cars. It's always a constant give and take with the elements of each type of car being used to improve the next. Everything we learn from motorsports is fed back into the R&D process, and we use these learnings for the next car in the end range or the next performance project. Uh, and what we look for is not necessarily the fastest car, because many brands uh, target only the highest performance. We're looking for fun to drive. If we have a metric internally. Uh, instead of RPM, we use BPM, so beats per minute. How much the customer gets excited uh, driving the car, how much emotion, uh, the customer is able to give to the car to his driving uh, experience, and that really is our main focus. The three pillars that we try to achieve are everyday sports car, a corner rascal, and racetrack capability in the end products. And uh, if the customer feels those three pillars while he's driving our cars, then we've uh, been successful, and that's what we uh, strive for. One of the things that we've added now is a new DCT 8-speed uh, transmission, which really adds a completely new character to the car um, from previous models. It includes also three modes, the power shift, the grin shift, and the track sense shift, uh, which really adds the complete N character to the cars. N brand being a performance car uh, is always a little bit of a special challenge to make the performance a little bit closer uh, to the limit and so for an engineer, it's always a pleasure to be challenged in this way, uh, to find yet that little more improvement, that little bit more on the edge uh, of a performance car so that the customers can really feel the car on the road 
and um, we test everything on the car right from the beginning. Uh, the engines, transmission, the uh, suspension systems, steering systems, those kinds of things. Depending on what's available in the first prototype, everything gets tested immediately. We have a very extensive, exhaustive testing program uh, that we have on each prototype phase uh, to make sure that we're really optimizing all the system. This is again about diving very deep into the various systems and optimizing them as much as possible. And this is really sort of an iterative process. If we optimize the suspension, then we have to adapt the steering. We change the steering, we have to adapt the suspension or maybe some other parts of the car, the wheels and tires of the car. It always uh, gets better and better and better as we go through the development process. And then we start over again in the next prototype phase, taking the knowledge from the previous phase. The next prototype phase may have some additional systems that the previous phase didn't have. And we begin again until we come to a final product. And uh, if we don't meet that, then we have to keep working. For an end car, really everything is important. There's nothing that's not um, important. So the driver experience uh, really is a sum of many different uh, feelings and uh, performance levels of the car, including sound. Everything that the car does in terms of acceleration, steering, the corner carving, the rev matching, including the sound really influences how the customer is satisfied. So sound is really a very crucial part of the end character development. And we spend quite a bit of effort in making sure the sound is just right on uh, end vehicles because it contributes really to the uh, experience that the customer has in the car. The i30N was hugely successful. The i20N, early feedback that we're getting will be equally as successful. But then there's a customer segment that wants a slightly different car appreciates all the end characteristics that we've been able to achieve and deliver. But this customer wants a slightly different car with perhaps a little bit more roominess, or perhaps a little bit more entering and exiting the car, perhaps a higher a driving stance uh, than some of the others. And so the Kona really fits that uh, precisely. And so we will include all the things that we learned in I-30 and I-20 uh, into the Kona N, and uh, we're sure it'll be equally successful. Hyundai is a company that's well known for high technology products. So we really offer a lot of products across the full spectrum. And since N is uh, always technology driven, I'm sure we'll be part of the future technology also.